Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber. In this video, I'm going to be solving the 11 by 11 uh, bump sanity cube, the uh, 11 by 11 bump cube by Casey Weaver. And so, um, yeah, this is going to be the full solve video. I'm also going to upload a time lapse, uh, but this is uh, the full solve. And I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm expecting it to take, you know, at, probably at least five or six hours. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be solving this with a bit of a different method. I'm going to be doing it edges first, and then I'm going to solve the corners because layer alignment is really hard when all the edges are messed up. Um, so I'm basically going to solve all the edges so that I can do layer alignment way easier and then put in the centers with commutators. Uh, I just did a 9 by 9 solve uh, with this method. It's called the cage method. And uh, it took... Um, like maybe 45 minutes or so and that was for a 9 by 9 so I'm expecting this is gonna take quite a bit longer uh, also because there's no colors and I had colors to go off with this so I could do this really easily turns take way longer on this so yeah I'm expecting like a five or six hour solve maybe even longer um, yeah anyway if I do sound a little bit sick I kind of have a little bit of a cold right now um, not really but uh, yeah, so if I do sound kind of nasally, uh, that's why also if you hear me like breathing out of my mouth a lot That's just kind of because my nose is a bit stuffy, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get started with this solve So I'm just gonna move the mic a little bit so you can hear the cube better and uh, Yeah, we're just gonna get started solving these uh, Edges, I'm probably not gonna be talking a whole lot um, because it hurts a little bit to talk right now um, but I'll just kind of talk about a little bit of what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, for the reference of putting in a timer for this solve that I'm going to start the solve right now. Okay, so let's just start building our first edge. I think these two pieces fit together and I think this one goes with it as well. I think it's going to be best to just build straight across though. So let's find the piece that goes here. Alright, um, I think it might be this one, let's go ahead and see, uh, nope, that's not it, come on, here we go, uh, that's not it either. Hmm. Hmm. Which piece goes here? Maybe I should start with the biggest edge, actually it'll probably be easier to look for pieces that are like that so let's go ahead and see I think these two pieces go together Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and do this alignment. three pieces go together. Um, Alright, I think this is a big edge here, so let's turn this up and put this in here. these pieces do to go together. It's a little bit loose, but that's okay. 
Um, all right, let's see what else can go there. Maybe this one. I don't know. That seems a little bit small. This one back here might go in there. Let's go ahead and make a big. Here, let's go this way. There we go. Does that fit in? I believe it does. Okay. These two pieces are the wrong size as well. Um, hmm. I think no, that's not right. Two outers are in, so I think this piece here might be one of them. Come on. There you go. Yeah. All right. We've almost got one edge built, so we are making good progress. I think this piece goes here, so let's turn that around. Okay. There we go. Okay, one more piece it just goes right here. Let's see if we can find that. Here we go. It's up here. Whew. All right. Well, there is one edge. That's already going to help alignment quite a bit because we can just kind of push everything to this one edge. You know, I'm wondering if uh, maybe this could be like a buffer edge that we just kind of take with us wherever we go when we need to build our centers so that we can use this to kind of align everything and pull everything straight. That might not actually be a bad idea. I'm going to see how hard it is to go through building a center just with using this one edge to help alignment. So yeah, let's try this. This is the longest edge here, which means this edge is going to go with the tallest center, which I think is this one. That seems to match up pretty well. Let's go ahead and just try and build this center here. So this piece matches with this one. So we just need to find the tallest pieces from every face. Um, that helps narrow it down a bit. Hmm. Something's catching on something here, but it's a little bit easier to move. problem is, yeah, there we go, so, let's see, nope, one more layer, there we go, get that piece up, this one needs to go up as well, Except I'm now realizing that that edge won't help alignment as long as it's, it'll only help alignment for one axis. Uh, okay. 
I may still have to go back to this cage method idea, but let's just keep going with this for a little bit and see how it turns out. Maybe if I just build one side, it'll be way easier. So if I get the four edges in and then this one center, it'll make it way easier. So let's keep going with this. You know, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build the edges for one side and then I may do the other centers because I think that'll really help. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing with this solve because, you know, I've never solved anything like this before. So I'm not even sure if the cage method is the most effective. I mean, this puzzle has never been solved before. So, you know, I don't really know the answer to any of these questions. But I'm just going to go ahead and build the other edges that go here on this top, on this face, which is the thickest layer. So it kind of helps to narrow down pieces because you got to see which is the longest. So I can tell that these pieces go with these two. So let's go ahead and turn that down like that. All right. I know this piece goes in this layer, so let's rotate that out. Okay, which piece needs to go there? It's not this one. Is it this one? Oh yeah, okay. It's this one. I'm getting so many different sizes here. Which one am I actually trying to build? Um, it's okay. right <laughs>
No, wait, that's not long enough. Dang it. It is pretty challenging when you only have shape to go off of. You know. Okay, let's get this layer going. Sometimes it'll only move one way or the other, so you kind of have to try both ways. Is there anything from here that will go there? Maybe this one? Come on. There you go. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, these three in the middle are all wrong. not the same height. Yeah, okay. I don't think it is at least. No, it's not. Alright. That's not it. This looks like these two could be the correct ones. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Okay. Finally got that piece in. So these three still are wrong. This one definitely goes there. right okay is it right no it's not long enough darn these two made no because those two are already in Oh, this is confusing. Alright, this is the middle piece. That's not right either. Oh, this is so annoying. I'm barely 20 minutes in and I'm already getting annoyed. It's a bad sign. Alright, so which one is it? It's got to be this one then. This one right here for this middle piece. Right. 
don't tell me it's the wrong one too. Ah, it is. Okay. Maybe is it this one? Okay, so I'm back. Camera overheated for a second there, but I haven't done any more moves to the puzzle. I think this piece, though, goes here. So, let's turn that in. Yes, I think I finally got it. Alright, we're one piece away. Just gotta get this guy in. be it just right up here. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, I think I did it. Let's go ahead and turn this face. There we go. Alright. Second edge done keep going with these long ones. Let's build this one next. Starting with this piece. Alright. So I'm kind of uh, been thinking about why I wanted to do, or why I wanted to upload this uh, full solve video. Um, for one, I just kind of want the documentation of it. Uh, sort of like how Red KB did with the 17x17, 17 17 and the uh, and Pete the Geek with the Terraminx. By the way, there's another edge done that actually went in really fast. Um, but... I also want to do it because I like proving people wrong <laughs> and a lot of people on my 10x10 10 10 barrel time-lapse solve video said that it was just a reverse scramble that I had sped up so that it wouldn't look like I had done anything fishy to it. Uh, and that's why I did the live stream of solving it and I tried to link people to it but still a lot of people believed that that solve was fake and so if I upload a, a time-lapse video with a, uh, along with a full solve video, then there won't be as much of a problem with that. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of the idea there, I guess. Um, oops, goes here. I don't know. I don't expect anyone to watch the whole video, but maybe there will be one or two people that 
sit through the whole thing. I don't know. Nope, that's not right. Dang it. I don't think these are even the longest pieces. I think I'm supposed to be building this edge here. Yeah, I've been doing this wrong all along. Uh, oh well. Hmm. Right now it's pretty easy because I'm just looking for the longest edge pieces I could find. But it's going to get a little harder later on. things aren't so easy. Same with the centers. Hmm. Crap. Those both the same size. Yeah, see the problem is that the layer difference is just a couple of millimeters. So you gotta be really careful that you don't get the wrong piece in there. This one's got to be a piece. Hmm. I think that fits. Yeah, that looks to be the right size. Hmm. This might be one. That looks like a pretty long edge to me. Hmm. No, I don't want to mess up this. So I'm going to turn that in. like a piece that will go there. There we go. Which piece was it? This one. Wait, no. This needs to be here. Dang it.
wait, hold on, what did I do? I messed up this one. What happened? Um, dang it. Hold on. Gotta fix this first. There we go. Oh, what? Where's that piece? Is this it? No. What did I do to it? Uh, dang it. Is this it over here? Yes. Okay, now where is that edge I was just working on? This one? Yeah. This one here. Let's keep everything on the same layer. Um, now what was I looking for? This has got to be it. here for the longest pieces. about to break up that anyway. Hold on. Okay. Now we can move this. Come on. And this. Boom. Alright. 
We're getting close. We're two pieces away. This one goes in as well. Yes. All right. One piece away. Where would that piece be? Mm. Ah, right here. There we go. First four edges built. Let's bring those in. Oops. Let's bring those in to this center so we can sort of build a cross of sorts. Yeah, this is the center piece. Okay. There, there. I'm not checking the uh, other centers, I'm just putting these in so that it's all level. Yeah. That goes in like that. Ah, oh, alright. Ah, oh, first first edges okay so top layer corners are done I'm gonna go ahead and go through the entire rest of the uh, with the cage method because I realized that if I solve these edges and corners and I just have the centers left it's going to be uh, relatively easy to spot which pieces um, go to which face based on if they're level with the edges so um, I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. So let's just go ahead and keep building uh, these edges. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and listen to some music while I do this so it's not so boring. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, let's solve this edge.
Okay, making progress on the edges. I've got three more done on this top layer. So, actually, no, wait, this one's not quite done. These two pieces need to flip. But we're getting close. Okay, these three are done. Let's keep going.
three this is going to be a bit of a struggle because basically just got to do a lot of flipping algorithms and stuff oh, doing parody at the end is going to suck too
Okay. Last two edges. Here we go. Let's do this. Oops. We got a pop. Yeah. Let's see if we can fit this back in. There we go. this back in here. I hope it doesn't pop off too many more times. Oh man, did we not get any parity? Hold on a second. Wow, okay. No parity. That is so lucky. Okay, so here we go. Uh, edges are done. So now I'm going to solve this outer part like a 3x3 three three, so we can start putting in these centers. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay.
Yo, get this dark over here. Uh, that doesn't seem right either. Oh no, I think this one goes here. I think that's the cross. Let's go ahead and put some corners in. second this edge is wrong dang it um. This isn't right either. Is the, are these two wrong? Okay, I think these two need a switch here.
Okay. Did something wrong again. Hold on. Center is wrong. Gosh, hold on. There we go. Wait, why is this so hard? Hmm. This center doesn't match. I think this is wrong. Is this wrong? It's hard to tell with what the centers are. Yeah, this one's definitely wrong. There we go. I think we gotta switch these two. Hmm. Okay, I think that's right now. There we go, that corner. So this one just needs to be rotated. Uh -huh. Okay. So, hmm. 
And this one goes here. Okay. Yep. Um, hmm. That's not right. I think this goes here. Oh, no, that's not right. This one. Whew, there we go. This one's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Let's see. I think it's one of these two. Let's just go ahead and rotate these two. There you go. That one's right now. Is this one flipped? No, that can't be right. Alright, this one goes here. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so these uh, edges are done already those just went to place by themselves and so let's see I think this corner is right so let's try uh, cycling these three Wait, no. Okay. Yeah. There we go. This one's right. Let's rotate these two.
There we go. Okay, so kind of like this outer shell is done. And so now we're going to start uh, putting in these centers with commutators. So I don't know how long this is going to take, but let's just go for it. All right. Okay. So let's just go ahead and put in these the the uh, highest pieces from each face on uh, up here. These two
That's not right. supposed to be doing that okay This piece from the bottom. What am I doing? Okay, this piece, yeah. this piece come on turn 
turn. I think just these three pieces are left on this face. Um, so I think this one. There's one more. Yeah, this one here. That's all from this face, so let's go on to this one. These are going to be a little easier to spot, I think. So this one here. put these three pieces up all together so we can we can just bring up this whole section There we go. So 
So these two, let's see if those two can go in. Alright, these two can go up here. Wait a second, no, that's not gonna work. Dang it, I'm only I can only do one at a time. Let's just do this one first. Okay, we'll put up this piece. Okay, um, these two pieces can go up here. Okay, uh, these two can go up here. Okay, this one can go up here. This is the last one. All right, this one can go up here. Okay, so now onto this face, gotta look for the high, highest pieces. So there's a section of four right here. I can actually go right here.
Okay.
Okay. Let's see. I'm just gonna keep going. Do this piece. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right, this is taking a while, but I'm getting closer. You can see I'm making progress. Uh, this first center is gonna take the longest by far, and then after it, it'll it'll uh, be a little bit slower. Or, or, or it'll be faster. Sorry, that's what I meant.
this piece up here. Oh wait, no, it's the wrong height. Ooh, I think that's all of them from this side. Okay. Let's go to this side. This one's not the right height. This one is. Let's put this one up here. These two pieces are the only ones from this side left, and then I just got to do the bottom face to bring the pieces up here. Let's see. All right, this piece can go up.
Okay, so now just have this face. Okay, and we are back to it. I think we've got eight or nine commutators left for this top face. Should be uh, a little easier after that. So let's see, this one will come down to here. And that's going to be brought up to this spot. basically doing commutators for this entire thing. It's just the same repeated algorithm over and over again.
All right. Last piece. center done Whew, okay well interesting thing now you can kind of see how all the stickers look a little bit messed up because they're all in random places so a lot of them are kind of off-center and that's why it looks that way so it doesn't look quite as perfect now but that's alright it still looks pretty nice so let's just go ahead and keep going. I think I'm going to do this side next and just put all the lowest pieces on this side. I think that'll be easiest. So, let's keep going. The layer alignment's actually really easy because I have this whole face which I can just kind of push down on to make sure everything's aligned. So this face is probably going to go a lot faster.
There you Okay, I don't think there's any more lower pieces on this face. Well, let's move to this one. Yeah, okay. Let's bring these two pieces up.
All right, so all of the lowest pieces are uh, been taken from this face, and now let's go on to this one.
I don't think there's any more on this face. So let's go on to this one. Okay, making progress. Okay, making progress.
There we go. Second center. So these two are done. I don't know which one to do next. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this one. All right.
Okay. Yeah. All right. So for the rest of this side, I have to take pieces from the opposite side, which really kind of sucks. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's just do it. Okay, making good progress.
two left. There we go. Oof, another center done. All right, now we have these three left. Whew, all right, let's keep going. Um, let's see. I think we're going to do this face next. Uh, actually, hmm. no, I'm going to do this face. I'm going to do this face next.
Hands are getting tired. Oh man, okay. Let's keep going. I'm doing this all in one night. I don't want to pick this up again tomorrow. I really just want to do it tonight, so. My fingers are getting a bit sore. But, we're gonna keep going.
almost done with this center. Okay, four centers done, last two, here we go, oh man, alright, I'm going to go ahead and solve this center and then this center will be solved once I'm done with this, actually no wait, <laughs> I'm going to solve this center, yeah.
Okay, just took another break, but this should be the final um, recording. I'm almost done, so let's just keep going. I just have a few pieces left. All right, here we go. Alright, two pieces left. Let's finish this out. Last piece. Here we go. <clears throat> oh man. This is it. Boom. I did it. <laughs> wow. I am actually very surprised at um that I was able to do it all in one day. I was really thinking I was gonna have to take a break like after every center or something like that. But wow, that actually wasn't that bad at all. It was just extremely tedious to do those uh, commutators over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, here it is. Uh, I have to say though, it just, it doesn't look as nice as when I first got it because of the stickers kind of all being twisted around now. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm so happy that I actually uh, conquered this beast in such a reasonable amount of time. I think uh, that was about three and a half hours or so. Uh, I will have a proper timer on the screen. So, but yeah, wow. Um, <laughs> anyways, thank you guys for um, watching. I, actually, I don't think anyone's going to make it all the way through. Um, the video, but perhaps uh, I, I think I know some people that watched uh, Red KB's entire 17 by 17 solve video, so maybe someone will watch through uh, this whole one. But it was pretty boring. I, I really didn't talk much. Uh, I'm kind of realizing that now that there were huge sections of just total silence. Um, I was watching a series basically the whole time while I was solving this, so uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what I was saying, and, and so I was just kind of solving it. But um, that is about it. For this video so uh yeah if you guys liked it make sure to give it a like links to all of my social media and my patreon pages are down in the description below thanks for watching guys bye